Hello viewers and welcome back to the Sky Stream. I'm Sky Dragon and today I am continuing Nefarious. Uh last we left off, uh we took Farah Princess Farah down into the core of the Ogre's kingdom or whatever. And she became a god or something. It threatened to destroy the world or some crap. I don't know, it's freaky. Um uh, because there are many sorts of villains out there. I'm thinking of ways we could possibly utilize Monster Farah. But we're in the business of ruling the world, not destroying it. Thus, we stick to your plan for now. Yeah. Yeah. I would, uh... I would like... To, I didn't notice there's a face right there. It's, uh... It's right, right, right here. Right here. Right, right underneath me. It's a face. Anyway, um... Uh, what do you have to say? Let's see what these guys have to say. Kuso, I thought I was starting at the end of the world. Staring, staring. I, th I thought I was staring at the end of the world. Who would believe our little fairy cake could become such a thing? I fainted in Ariella's arms at the sight of her. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you and Ariella seems to be pretty doing pretty good. Oh, no, I want to go down. No, there's no princess up there. For a moment, for a moment there, it seemed like she was going to cause some real damage. I know what I have to do now to make sure she never threatens the planet again. Uh, I do my best to be a good role model for her. Oh, you had me going there for a while. Okay, yeah. Things are getting ra a little serious, aren't they? I'm glad the situation was handled. I need some time to pr process this. Yep. Being big is fun. The only downside is I can't play pranks. Everyone would see me coming a hemisphere away. Boss, make her stop chasing me. <laughs> I'm not even hungry anymore. Now it's just funny. Yep. Good. What about what about you? Who knew that pint-sized Terra was an extraterrestrial threat? I don't know. Existential threat, I guess. Here, yeah, I thought I was the toughest on board. I guess there's always a bigger fish. Yep. Okay. Anyway, uh, upgrade. Can I upgrade anything? I can. I can upgrade uh, this. My ammo. Ah, oh, no, I can't. Oh wait. Yes, I can. Uh, I just need to go get Moody. I gotta go get some Moody from the jukebox. Because I get, I got a new record. I got that record. And then after that, I'm gonna go to the next place. Whatever that next place is. Bonus round! Alright. Okay. I Have I ever gotten a bonus round? I don't know what a bonus round is. I don't know what they mean by that. I have no idea. Is that the museum? Maybe? Museum's theme? I don't know. I think the museum's theme would be the one that was there, but I don't know. I think it was the boss theme that was there. I don't know. There we go! Alright. So now... Now we got that stuff. Okay. So now we're gonna just go upstairs. Go faster! Faster, I command it! I'm your boss! Whoa. Crow beans, what's up, buddy? I really need a solid man. If you promise to never call me crow beans again, I'll consider your request. So check it out. Before you threw me into princess jail, I had a thing set up. A thing? A thing at the at a palace with some people. Five of them to be specific. Like a hand. In this metaphor, I am the all-important thumb. You lost me. Short version, I've got a booking as a contestant on a hot new game show and I really cannot miss it. This is a life or death situation. Is it? I think that's what he said. I don't know. Yes! Is it really? I am not wrong. Kinda... We are too busy. Those things are scams anyway. No, come on, please. 
As ludicrous as, ludicrous as this sounds, sir, it may... What? Why? It may be in our best interest, I'm guessing. This particular show would you, uh, would you date a supervillain has a viewership of over 3 million people every week. Your rep reputation alone would skyrocket, not to mention growing social media and engagement, increased merchandise sales, and I'm predicting a 60% increase in funds. Are you sure? I guess. I think that's what she said. I don't know. 100%, sir. All right, fine. But this better not be a waste of my time. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is absolutely a waste of my time. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to this week's Would You Date a Supervillain, known in hero circles as Why Would You Date a Supervillain? I am your host, Manfred Friday! We have three very lucky bachelors up here with, our, with us on stage today. Is that lady a bachelor too? Yes, security! What just happened? First contestant, come on out, please. Everyone put your hands together for a beautiful Princess Cherry Mayapple. Princess Mayapple is from the fabulous beacon of civilization, Macro City, when she is not something. When she's not kidnapped, she enjoys organizing go-kart races, playing golf and tennis, and beating the crap out of her friends in kingdom. God damn it, go us! Wait, what? Princess Mayapple, ask away. <laughs> My first question is for everyone. How would you prepare for a date with me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, bake a picnic lunch. What's a date? Build a giant robot. Um, I. <laughs> Build a giant robot! First I would construct a giant robot in your image. Then with it... <laughs> rampage through the macro city in your name, earning you the fear and respect of your once docile population. Turning them into fanatical slaves for your new globe-spanning empire. All will know you and hurt to shiver at the mere utterance of your name, a fear that runs deeper than anyone else could ever imagine. Wait, what was the question again? Next. Oh, I would start with a bath heated by the flame souls of the Forsaken. Flaming souls of the Forsaken. With some light touches of chili powder on the neck just in case. Wow, that's surprisingly honest. Something, I don't know. Only the best for you, my spicy apple blossom. Are apples spicy? Moving on, Malice? I, uh, well, I would start by fueling my fleet of death ships so they can later rain down destruction upon your castle. I would then demand your eventual surrender and later corporate man. <laughs> so that way both our mutual mutu mutually beneficial industry can have benefit each other! Uh, that sounds sweet. We should talk after all of this. I have some great ideas for expanding your business model. Um, sure thing. Um, sure thing. Next question. This did go way too fast. Actually, can I ask my own question? Oh, improv. Sure, let's take this puppy off road. Do you actually see yourselves as villains? No, deflect, lie. Uh, I'm gonna deflect. Whoa, hey, we're getting a little too meta, aren't we? I mean, what is a villain? It's all a matter of perspective. <laughs> a villain is a jerk who. A villain is a jerk who ruins my ceremonies by blowing up the stadium. Well, next time maybe you'll invite me. <laughs> me? A villain, Paris the Thought. The media loves to portray me as a, the bad boy demon lord. I may sometimes be too hot to handle, but I am a lover, not a fighter. 
I'm loving these insightful questions. You're doing great, Mayapple Baby. Uh, you spend your entire life unlocking and sharing the ancient secrets of magic. Take on thousands of... No one calls you the malice of the great enlightener. But you release just one ancient Eldrith abomination bet on the annihilation of all mankind in the known universe. Whatever, next time I, I summon Lord to go along, I'll t uh, totally be able to control him. Could you not? That would be great. Princess Mayapple, you've taken our lucky bachelor's temperatures. Great wordplay. Or wait, my bad. Great wordplay. Now, it's time to answer the question. Would you date a supervillain? Well, I think villain is an outdated subject of term. We're all just people trying to do what we think is best for society as a whole and... Yes or no, Mayapple? We're trying to move on. I think under the right circumstance, I'd give it a shot. I am recently single after all. Let's hear it, folks. Who would you- who do you think Princess Mayapple should date? Uh... Friggin, I get- Oh! <coughs> yeah! Okay, I'm a beast, I know. No! <laughs> what?! <laughs> Not a chance! <laughs> Let the people demand it! You heard them! <laughs> no bl <laughs> no bliss oblige can shove off malice. Prince's heart has been kidnapped by me. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, that is it for Princess Mayapple. A new couple gets all an all expense pay expenses paid dinner at. Dodo Grill, your one-stop shop for simulated extinct meals. But I'm a vegetarian. Moving on. That's fine. I don't want to date you anyway, Meh Apple. Our next contestant is the secretary you don't want to mess with. The major domo that will give you a major migraine. Please welcome the instrument of twisted machinations and bureaucracy this ought to be a barrel of laughs <laughs> well Bex can I call you Bex no <laughs> that's fine I like Becky more anyway may apple all right then B it's time to ask your questions very well If you were my boss, what sort of benefits package would I receive? <laughs> the plan paid time off. I mean, honestly, all three of these are really good. A pay raise! I would bring the bling for our fling! Hey, you stole that from me. Out. It's my turn in the spotlight. Yes, fight for my approval. <laughs> if you work for me, you'd be in hot water. I would have an office jacuzzi set up right in the main lobby. Now that's a job with benefits. First, I'd woo you away from your current place of employment. Easy enough for an enchanting enchantress. Wait, I think I remember this girl. I would then take over the world with you as my right-hand henchwoman. I'd give you a kingdom or two as part of your signing bonus. My own corporate kingdom. Not a bad idea. Next question. That's bullshit. They like they like one up me after that first after the, my answer. Pretend you're pretend you're writing a love letter to me. What would it say, I guess? You suddenly remember the love letter Captain Man asked you to deliver to Becky. You take it out and look at it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. 
Uh, <laughs> I feel like she she would prefer <laughs> the villain thing. Mm. Let's see. I feel like it's gonna be crap, and she's not gonna like it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna crumple it up and improvise. <laughs> you are a fool to trust me, Cap. <laughs> I don't write love letters. I'm Crow. You choose to work for me because you know how ruthless I am. Stand by me as I conquer the earth and reshape it in my image. Huh. Somewhere far away, a single viewer curses your name. <laughs> 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 Will be, it's time for your next question. Would you date a supervillain? But first, let's see what the audience thinks. Uh, I'm gonna go crawl all the way every single freaking time. <laughs> Screw everybody else. I believe we, I believe, I believe we have an HR policy that prohibits that. Fortunately, I'm the head of the HR department. So an exception may have to be drafted. Yeah! I choose Ko. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the minions are gonna be so happy! Our lucky new couple wins an all-expense paid trip to... Winter Down Ski Resort! <laughs> Join Hot Coco in lovely war-torn Winter Down, a mere stone's throw away from something. It's like you read my diary. Speaking of Winterdown, our next guest happens to govern the Icy Nation. Wait, what? That's right, it's one of the world's greatest warriors. Princess Alisa Aglaya An Anushka uh, Anella Angelina Avadota Alexandra. Glad to be here, Manfred. Oh, I'm totally gonna put her to, uh, freaking what's-his-face. Always a pleasure. Well, it's time to fire away. <laughs> Alright, bachelors, it's time for you to run the gauntlet. Describe your perfect sunny afternoon with me. <laughs> nope! No! Nope! Not a chance. Uh... Come on, I like her too. She's cool. Uh... Nope! I would start by hanging myself. <laughs> After diving on... <laughs> dining on a three-course meal of... It's something. Oh, Crowley. Oh, Crowley, I'm never tired of your gallows. Something. You like to fight, huh? I suppose I could... I could summon a legion of ancient whores for you to battle. Beasts which existed before time began that blur the line of existence or something. Existing in a third and fourth dimension of space and time. Merely gazing at them has been known to drive people insane. And then afterwards, perhaps we would open up a nice bottle of fizz or something. That doesn't sound half bad. Uh, fire-related pun? And then I, uh, um, um... Spit it out, dandy boy! Uh, right, I, uh... You're an enemy of my nation, so... We would go someplace... Oh, I can't do this anymore! Hurry uh, I need you to know something. I feel powerless at home to stop this war between our nations. I'm haunted by my family's bloody legacy and uh, my sister's genocidal desire to wipe out the Dwarvish people. And I admire your determination to the end this, to end this battle. I secretly read every shred of propaganda you dispense into my country. And I want so desperately to stand up to that tyrant of an ogre princess and shout, No more! <laughs> no more war! No more violence! We bleed fire and ice on fields of blue and red. It has to end. Ogre and Dwarf can live in peace. Wow. This took a, uh, serious turn. It's too much. I break my loathsome silence. This must end. Princess Ariella, I love you. Whoa. 
That was um unexpected. Huh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe that I just committed high treason on national television. I can't go home. <laughs> She's going to kill me. My sister will have me ex executed. Relax. I'm with you, dandy boy. I didn't think you had it in you. But maybe it's a good thing that purple nitwit got you out here, out of there. Hey, I'm a purple genius, thank you. <laughs> Let's take advantage of the situation a little longer. We'll stay on a ship and hash out some plans. That sounds... Nice. <laughs> you hear that, Tefra? We're coming for you. Buckle up. Well, I think we can all call this an episode. Deception. Surprises. High treason. You never know what will happen next on Would You Date a Superman? I've been your host, Manfred Frowny. Winners don't do, winners don't do drugs. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I fucking love this game. <laughs> oh man, I'm still shaking. Your people are strong, but they're also smart. As much as they'd like to battle, there is a portion who see no value in meaningless conflict. We'll get through to them. Just don't do anything crazy until I take over the world. We'll see what comes first. <laughs> Dates can wait until after your plans come to fruition. Boss, we need to get back on track. Agreed! Full speed ahead! <laughs> I mean it more literally. Princess Tefra was quick to anger over her brother's declaration. She's utilizing the rattle track rail system to launch an offensive. Our home base is in danger. Go, Crow. Me and you are gonna take this tyrant down. Oh, my hero. How I swooned for you. <laughs> Very well. Our goals are, goals are aligned. Let's ride out. But get away from the wheel. Only I get to punch it. It's kind of my thing. Actually, everyone out. Go back to work or back to lounging for your you royal folks. Oh, man. Well, oh, looks like we're finally going to be fighting against Tefra. That was... <laughs> that was great. I, uh, I don't know about you guys, but... I really love this. I, I continue to fall more and more in love with this game. Um, I'm just glad I got that date with Becky. Because uh, I think she's probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, but anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave us a like down below, as well as follow us on Twitter. And if you want to play this game for yourself, there's going to be a link down in the description below. But for now, tell everybody out there watching, whoever, wherever you are, have a good morning, good afternoon, and a good night. Bye-bye!